Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Iron 4 Nation Building Simulator. Now, you may notice that we have 1.96 million manpower, and that is, or sorry, pony power. That is because the focus, the tricolor of our Griffenheim, appears to um, core everything. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> also, we have cored uh, the north. And, uh, in fact, now that we have defeated the Griffonian Empire, our main enemy, we don't particularly need uh, these many guys. So, I'm just gonna uh, re reduce the conscription law from service power requirement to extensive. So, and we get the event, the return to Griffenheim. Uh, now... With our long exile over, we are back to where the Republic was born, Griffenheim. Now that the city is ours and resistance has been quelled, we need to decide what kind of a Republic we wish to become. Should we strive for more centralization or decentralization? Of course we're going to do centralization. Because why the hell not? Uh, we also have the event, the tricolor in Griffenheim, which is just what you'd expect, you know. We are now here and all that. Now, wait. What the fuck? What is this flag? Yeah, you do be you do be very fascist, brother. Um, should consider being less fascist. What the fuck? Anyway, the fate of the child emperor. So, in the weeks since we have taken Riffenheim, the heartlands have largely stabilized. Local republican movements have been encouraged. And Alexandra Kibraskai has met with numerous democratic and communist leaders. However, despite our efforts to reform our new republic and reverse the failures of 978, there is still one question in every Griffon's mind. The Child Emperor. Grover the Sift was seized by republican spies during the assault on Griffenheim uh, to prevent a bloody lynching along the lines of the Regency Council's bloody murders in 978. However, since then, he has languished in a prison in a prison cell below his former palace. He has been provided with bread, water, and agreeable room and condition. Blah blah blah, a bunch of stuff happens. Uh, Sun Glider demands that we enact justice against the young emperor for the unforgivable crimes of his father and the crimes him and his vile regent plotted to commit a call across Perfonia. Aww, Sunglider was silenced by Kemerskai himself, who stated that he would spread no children's blood for the purpose of sheer vengeance and heart. I wanted to kill him! The fuck? Anyway. Has declared that Grover VI must be liberated as a citizen of the Republic. Okay. While Erich Krieger, a Republican industrialist and conservative, has suggested that we simply send Grover VI to Equestria, they would likely not use him as a political asset and teach him the ways of friendship and harmony. That's a that's an interesting plan. Uh, although Equestria right now has their own issues. Um, let's just put it this way. So either exile him to the Diarchy of Equestria, or liberate him as a citizen of the Republic. Let's liberate him as a citizen of the Republic. I'm gonna do a Puyi with him. Because, um, you know, Chiang Kai-shek, even though Chiang Kai-shek... It's not Chiang Kai-shek who did the Puyi to the Puyi, but you know. You get, you get the deal, come on, don't, don't, be, don't be picky. Um, don't be picky with your... Niche historical stuff. Time to get airplanes. Uh, time to repair. Jesus Christ, we need to repair a lot of stuff. Uh, so, we also have the nobility's fate. The nobility. The traitors and the petty criminals who defeated the republicans during the revolution and have continued to oppress the people of Gorfonia ever since. Oh. 
know what I am, traitor? I'm the rightful emperor. This guy is seven years old, by the way, or, or ten. I don't know. Uh, He has been liberated from his shackles. Nice. Uh, so, what about the nobility? Uh, pent up anger against the nobility has erupted, and both the Democrats and the Socialists have called for the execution and trials of these traitors to our nation. Sunglider, the leader of the Social Democratic faction of the National Republican Party, has declared that according to the principles of liberty, democracy, and prosperity, these traitorous nobles must serve justice for their crimes. Yes, let's do so. Let's get some justice to the nobles. The Archons replacements. Yes, of course we're going to appoint loyal Republican Archons. We're, we're going to do a bit of a, a bit of a French Revolution here, um, which, you know, for the French Revolution it didn't exactly go very well. What they did, in case you don't know, basically when the when the French Republicans took over in seventy uh, two, I believe. Or, sorry, 82. Because 1879 is one day, you know, when they stormed the Bastille or whatever, but, like, it was still the Kingdom of France. It was only a constitutional monarchy. Then, when the Republicans took over, basically, a lot of radical Parisian Republicans were um, very nonplussed with the concept of, you know, um, the church and all that. So they tried to basically force all the uh, all the priests to swear loyalty to the Republic instead of to the Pope, and, you know, it doesn't go particularly well for them in the long term. Anyway, we also have a visit to Vinin, because uh, Camera Sky is from a noble family, and uh, Vinin is, like, the city where his family was in power or whatever, as the, the local rulers or something. So he goes there, like he sees. By the way, Kemerskai, Chiang Kai shek over here, has killed his dad. Because his dad was a, like, enemy general during the war. So he, he's. This guy has some balls. Uh, so he goes to the uncle. The uncle thinks that, you know, he wants to kill him. Hmm. Oh no, that's actually not his uncle, it's his nephew. Okay, whatever. Mm. Okay, whatever. Just just be gone. And now we go for the first elections. Uh, and that's going to load a new focus tree, so I have no idea exactly what... In terms of choices we are gonna have. But, uh, yeah, I want to see. I want to see. Hmm. Hey, Equestria is actually holding, which is nice, I guess, because it's a freeway over here. We have the Crystal Empire, the Changelings, and Equestria just being all kind of derpy. The fuck? The Democratic Republic of Pingland. Alright. Against Nova Grafonia.
I wonder who's gonna be the first next war. Now, I believe this is going to... I wonder if it's this is going to destroy this as well. That would be quite annoying. Because I still have some illiteracy and poverty. But, oh well. Ten more days. Oh, I never clicked the war economy. Oops. I appear to be pretty dumb. Oh well, uh... Now it's going to take forever to repair everything, but... Oh uh, well. Eh, give me... yeah, give me this. There we go, elections. So, our great President Marshal Kemersky has decided that the Republic is ready for its first official general elections. Hold on one second. With his, re as re with his resignation, many popular politicians have scrambled and tried to gain the support of the populace. The three most popular ones are Heinrich Kingfeder and Schnabel Sunglider, but also Rickard Ostler, a popular democratic socialist candidate who has garnered significant support among the rural classes. Heinrich is a firm believer in political neutrality. Cringe. Believing that it would further advance our economic wealth and political stability of our nation. If our, if our nation decided to stay out of foreign affairs. Cringe. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I already... You, you have decided to be cringe, so I will not, you know, even further consider your political platform. On the other hand, Schnabel, a young revolutionary, firmly believes in the ideals of the Republican Revolution. There, this guy with the cool eye patch. He, he looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, he argues that a stance of neutrality would mean leaving defenseless griffons in other countries to their fate being oppressed by monarchs, dictators, and the like. Sanglider is a firm believer in the social democratic ideals of the revolution and supports a mixed economy with heavy welfare. The communists claim that he doesn't go far enough, and the conservatives claim that the state can never pay for his ambitions plans. How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it, bro? Uh, Astler, the radical, believes in the neutral foreign policy of King Petter, but his economic policy... Okay. Uh... I know, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing Sunglider. Do we have a new focus tree? We fucking do now, do we? Oh, well. You said he was neutral, and yet he has a liberate everyone thing. But yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do some Pangrophonian dream. Hell yeah, the president Sunglider. Oh, now he can't be an advisor, of course, because, you know, he's not, uh, yeah. Eh. Prince of Terror, sure. Harmony with Republican characteristics. I swear to protect the free values of the Republic, of course. The free principles of the people. Liberty, democracy, and prosperity. Alright. Harmony with Republican characteristics. Eight from the far south. Oh, they sent us three divisions of volunteers, the vanguards of democracy, as they call themselves. Officially, they are tourists, and the weapons they are mar they and their weapons are marked as a tomato shipment to Cloudberry. Um, thanks, I guess. Even though you probably should have done that earlier. Yeah. Um. Yes, this this is very nice of you. I'm gonna switch your template though, because you fucking suck at the moment. Um, 
Oh, uh, are you're nice, Sakamion, I guess. Um, thank you. That's kind of you, but like, yeah, you should have done that earlier. It would have been very, very useful to have it earlier. Damn. Fucking Grover wants to run for president. For fuck's sake. Alright, so let's take a look at our fo our new focus tree, I guess. So we have the unification of the NRP, the Pangraphonian Dream. Implement war economy. Ooh. Oh, it just changes the total mobilization. Okay. Nice. Sunglider's New Deal, and prepare for the Southern Trust, or Thrust. And then we're gonna do the... Okay, Liberate the Heart, the new Griffin Stone. Recognize an independent Aquileia, or liberate Aquileia. Now, of course, we're going to liberate Aquileia. And we're going to also integrate Skyfall Republic. Nice. Very nice. Oil field. Tricolor over the west. The Arcturian Order. What the fuck? Okay, um, that's a bit late for you, brother. Let's help them, because we can, but um, I, I somehow don't think that, uh, you know, we could technically send them volunteers to fight the undead or whatever, although this, this might be a bit of a dumb move, to be honest. Let's let's see what happens over here. Oh, there goes the bad democracy, which was just completely annihilated by the Republic Republic of Wittenland. Oh, this just became a republic. Okay. Yeah, I mean they they tried to invade the they tried to invade the, the river EU and it didn't go well for them. Let's just say that. Okay, yeah, tricolor over the west. That's going to core everything because the Grafonian things. Holy shit, this is massive. Jesus Christ, the first Pangraphonian elections. President Cogchell, holy shit, you can do some communism. Astler. Gilded Wing. Oh, the fiery Genevieve Gilded Wing out of Skyfall. The woman. Yes, the, the, the bird Elon Musk or whatever, I don't know. Yeah. The social democratic bird woman. Okay. And that return for Sun Glider. Okay. Every griffin and emperor. Okay, sure. Yes, Equestria is a failed state. We can do better. Time to spread some revolution. Time to be based. Uh, okay, what is this choice? Leave the South alone, liberate the frontier... Oh, so you get to choose between going either to Helkel, Privan, Gryphus, Kayev, and the Principality of Lushi, so to the east, essentially, to this region, or to the far south with 
with Wing Barty. Which... Okay, I see. Damn, the Caspwingi, the the Italian. President Kamersky Jr. Antagonize Equestria. Okay. Damn. Yeah, we have a fucking massive focus tree. I wonder if we ever actually, like, switch tag from the Griffonian Republic to, like, the Pan Griffon Union or whatever. We shall liberate Griffonia. Peaceful harmony has only given Sunglider the glory of seeing monarchist boots trample over his comrades and his friends. No, we will not stand as and watch as dictatorship still rule in Raphonia, of course. Of bloody course, it's time to be based. And uh, with that, I think I'm going to end it for today. Huh? All right. There is a massive fucking event. Anyway. Uh, yeah. For now, I'm going to end it. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon. And soon enough, we're going to liberate the rest of Griffonia. See you then.